Labor Day holiday is for many represents a day of relaxing, but for communities along the Mackenzie River, it represents another anniversary of the holiday farm fire. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jennifer Singh. KZI 9 News reporter Noah Chavez was in Blue River and shows us their growing yearly tradition following the fire that helps to bring the community together. Mackenzie Track is hosting its fourth Mackenzie Community Celebration. But five Labor Days ago, the track was used for a much different reason, as an evacuation site for fleeing residents trying to escape the Holiday Farm fire. You know, the fire is something we don't celebrate, but we want to commemorate. We want to commemorate the fact that we're a strong community. The devastating Holiday Farm fire starting four years ago. Residents living along the Mackenzie River remember it like it was just yesterday. I hate to use the word resiliency, but it's been a common thread for the last couple of years, and we're a very strong, tight-knit community. By the end, one person died, nearly 800 homes were lost, and 173,000 acres were burned. So the community came together in 2021 to hold the first community celebration on the first Labor Day since the fire. The community enjoyed it and has continued ever since. This event is for, uh, it's a chance for the community to come together and not only remember what happened four years ago this weekend, but also to um, hopefully inspire some hope for the future, for everybody that is trying to rebuild. With free food, local vendors from Blue River and the surrounding communities, the celebration is helping the community remain connected and provide help needed. Jeez, oh, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's a big deal <laughs> to have a uh, gathering like this. It's uh, still a lot of recovery to happen, you know, so there's uh, successes and challenges still. Coming up on KZI 9 News at 5, why residents and organizers alike feel their town is finally returning to the way it was before the fire. Reporting in Blue River, Noah Chavez, KZI 9 News.